Uh, yeah. It's looking pretty good. <laughs> you can see that viaduct in the in the background. That came out good. So yeah, I I, I uh, set up trains going between Utica and Schenectady and Albany and Rome. You know that type of deal. And then I set up trains from the farms and stuff. So that's all set. Those are all uh, American class 440s because it's pretty flat. Let's see. This is pretty good. Yeah, it's all freight, and he's making it up to the grade there pretty good. Yeah, yeah, 1863, oh, that's a bad year. Yeah. Well, since the scenario is already over with in 1854, there's not going to be any more, like, history things come happening or special newspaper stuff. Like, 1863, I'm pretty sure that's when Lincoln shot, I think. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Then what? Kennedy is 1963. I might be mixing it up. Anyway. Yeah, it's making it up the mountain pretty good. That's good. All those threes, I was worried. When you when you get a whole bunch in a row like that, it can cause trouble. Yeah. Let's see. just want to see if it has something going back down. Hey. Okay. Yeah, I think that's going to work out good. Yep. Nice. Alright. And now that the uh, New York Central is completely built, my express trains that go back and forth to Buffalo can run on that line. And that means they can be American classes. I mean, the Baldwins aren't old enough to replace yet, but, you know, if any of them crash, I can replace them with American classes because they're going on the flatland. Well, I, speaking of uh, express. Let's set up some more of that. Let's, let's go let's start Brooklyn for something different. And Brooklyn to Albany. Skip Schenectady. Skip Utica and Rome. Straight to Syracuse. And then Rochester. And then Buffalo. And then back the same way. Super Express. Well, let's try it. I can always change it back between 2 and 6. <laughs> but any express. And dining car instead of caboose. Apply. And, uh, we'll see. A lot of times it's not easy to find express traffic going to a specific town. It's weird like that. And it's going to be express. Let's see, is there anything? Two cars on Albany. <laughs> That's not making too much. 101k. But it's express and it's only two cars, so it'll go fast. Right? I didn't pick the skin. Ah. The default skin, I forgot to switch it. Oh well. Now you know what the default one looks like. Right, there's the West Shore Lane. Cool. Well, we haven't actually watched this all the way, have we? I really hate that I have to build a bridge there. That's really annoying. Although I like crossing under the other one. Uh-oh. Was that the train right in front of us? I think I heard it. Uh, it was an American class. Yeah, I bet it was. And it's going to be another American class. Now I got the skin right. Yep, there it is. <laughs> Oof, that's not good. Let's double. Well, it'll disappear pretty quick. Is that one of the expresses I was talking about? Yep, Brooklyn, Buffalo, all running on the flat. Well, maybe I will double this because I've got all the express trains running on it now. Let's see. I'll take a break. Well, I'm past my time limit already because I excel in time management. So this is going to end up being a double. I'll probably split it maybe a couple minutes before right now whatever. And um, I doubled a lot of the West Shore Nut Line. Not all of it, but a lot of it. And then I doubled it to different stations along the way. I didn't double all the tunnels. That would have been over a million dollars right there. I mean, I spent, I think it costed me a good 500000 to double that big stone bridge right outside of New York. But, um, 
I really shouldn't worry about cost too much because I mean, look, I'm at almost 26 million. But still, yeah, I'm kind of cheap, I guess. <laughs> and there's not another train coming through these tunnels anyway. Yeah, let's see how this does. Oh, it's three cars, not two. It's the passenger, mail, and dining. Oh, that's the dining car. Yeah, there's two cars. <laughs> I love these uh, new modified skins that I got from the website with the passenger cars. I did kind of get tired of the default uh, bright blue passenger cars. So this is very nice. All matching and everything. Avondale. Oh, cool. The dining car has a name. Oh, that Express must be making even more than this one. That's not too surprising. Let's see. But yeah. I figure we haven't watched trains too much, so let's do that for a little while. I like to do that a lot too, not just build. I like to watch them. Just watch the money roll in. And look at that. It's, I've got a pretty good constant stream now. Now we're catching up to the other express. Makes sense. He's tall and heavy stuff. And it's a bald one. <laughs> wonder if we can replace any. I don't think any of them are old enough. And these American classes, they might be nice and fast, but boy, they like to break down and crash. Let's see. Looks good. Well, I'm glad to see I finally got a bunch of trains on the express lines. Oh, great. Usually it's a good thing when tra when the stock split. But I think it's going to suck right now. Awesome. Industry 829. Anyway, I think the stock splitting thing is going to suck right now because I can't buy it back. All right? Yep, there's there's nothing. So it's down to $53 and I can't buy it back. So the investor's going to be pissed. Holy crap. Look at this. I have to buy out this one. His stock is down to $1. Wow. It's, it's, well, you know, if I wait long enough, if he's doing bad and as bad as it looks like he's doing. Ah, yeah, look at that. Minus 676. I noticed he kept on borrowing. Um, anyway, I could wait until the the company goes out of business and gets liquidated. I've seen that happen before. And then it gives you an option. It acts like a merger, but you just have to buy it. It says, do you want to buy this railroad for whatever price? Just outright. And it might be cheaper than trying to merge. Well, let's see if we can merge real cheap. Let's merger. I don't know why he's making absolutely nothing. He's got three decent towns. Oh, wow. <laughs> the most I can offer is $2 a share. 92000 <laughs> Let's see. And it failed. Well, they don't want, they don't want to double their money, I guess. It's not going to get any better. Only Fisk went with me. Eh. Oh, well. I'll wait until it gets li liquidated, I guess. But anyway, once I finally get that, and then I connect uh, New Haven, Bridgeport, Norwalk, down to White Plains, and Brewster up to Poughkeepsie, and over over the Hudson and up down to towards Middletown, that'll be the New Haven line, uh, New Haven Railroad, which is cool. And I'll have New Haven, New York Central, and I guess Erie a bit here and there, and um, that's pretty good. O and W, of course, that's the main railroad. And then uh, off of Scranton, if I go further south from Scranton, I guess that's Pennsylvania Railroad or Erie Lackawanna. I don't know. Well, uh, let's see. What was I doing watching the train? <laughs> I'm doing good. Uh, let's see, how's my time doing, actually? I don't want to go too crazy. Well, it's getting pretty long. So, um, let's just finish watching this train. Otherwise. Where is it? There it is. My special Super Duper Express train that should be making a lot of money, but it's not. It never really works out too good. Trying, you know, you get two big cities far away from each other, like New York and Albany, and you're like, oh, I'll set it up all express with a dining car, I'll make a fortune. 
you you don't for some reason. I don't know why that doesn't really work too much. You have to find passengers and ma and mail that want to go to the next place. Like here he is sitting. Like now it's going to wait for passengers and mail that want to go from Albany to Syracuse. And even though there's 19 passengers here and 11 mail, I guess none of it wants to go to Syracuse. And that always changes, too, where they want to go. Yeah, see, they don't want to go anywhere in this direction. I don't know why nobody in Albany wants to head out west. Oh, engineers develop steel railway bridges. Does that mean I can build steel railway bridges? Anyway, look, not even Buffalo. Nobody wants to go from Albany anywhere out west. Where do people from Albany want to go? They want to go just around here. Oh, all this mountain tent. That's way built out in the mountain. See? Maybe the AI is smarter than me. Hark on the thought. And down this way. But nobody wants to go out west more. Huh. That's weird. Well, I'll have to change this around then. Because it's not going to get any better. And he's going to be sitting there forever. Well, there he is. Let me fix that. But anyway, oh, consolidations come out now. You can forget about Baldwin's. You can forget about American Class 440's. This blows them all away. Consolidation. 280. So you've got the extra drivers for the mountain. And son of a gun if I didn't just buy a couple of brand new Baldwin's for some mountain lines. But these are really good. I mean, you will use these up past 1900 they're that good and it's only 1865 now so that's awesome and um, let me just fix this oh he's got one car I want to leave it alone that one car is worth 64k so we'll leave it be alright well I know I'm long on time so I'll see you guys later